Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at another solo queue secrets video and this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be looking at how you quickly climb solo queue. And this is going to be the first part. My videos are usually about improving as a player, but this is actually going to be literally just how to climb quickly. This is going to be the stuff you need to focus on that will actually help you gain ranks rather than becoming a much better player and then the kind of ranks coming after that. Remember as well, there is an October giveaway going on right now. You can check that down in the description. It's for two lots of $10 RP cards and you can end to it just by being a subscriber on here it's really simple so go check that out so this video part one is going to be on pre-game stuff and you'd be surprised at actually how impactful this stuff can be that you need to do before a game to increase your chances of winning the first one is sort your runes masteries and builds out this is really basic stuff but you'd be surprised how many people will screw it up seriously you can get like 10 kills in lane but if you start rushing a zephyr and ghost blade on vein then you're still gonna suck and do no damage you know what the saddest thing is actually I didn't even pull that example out of my ass. I have actually seen people do that twice. Two different people did that in two different games. Now the best way to solve this is looking at what other high low people are doing. Don't just like blindly copy them but see what they do, see what you do, look at the differences and think of why they are different. Now builds are especially important and you can look at websites like champion.gg or even tweet me and ask. So the first thing you're going to have to figure out before you start climbing is what role you actually want to play. And a lot of you guys will have already figured this out a little bit, but some of you guys won't be sure. So you'll play a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Now, this is very specific to season five. Now, what these roles are like in the current meta. So for the top, for example, it's a 1v1 lane, right? It's focused on beating your opponent and then TPing and roaming around with your lead. It's more kind of early to mid game focus in general. Like you can often 1v2 with a lead, which makes you hard to shut down. Junglers right now can affect the entire map. They help bad players win their lanes, they put opponents behind, and they snowball the game. So mid lane is obviously a 1v1 lane again. It's focused on beating your opponent and using that lead. The difference between top is mid lane is very mid game focused, but still strong later. Like mid game is when you have the ranks in your abilities and you should be controlling the game. For AD carries, you're focused on farming early, trading, trying to get a few kills, but just surviving the mid game and becoming ridiculously strong late game. Finally, the support is a lot like a jungler, right? You're kind of like the playmaker, the unsung hero who keeps people alive or sets up people to be killed, but often you just don't get the credit. So that is the role breakdown and hopefully that should give you a good idea of kind of where your play style and your mindset, like how you want to play league fits into either one of those roles. So now we're gonna be moving on to the champion pool side of things. And I actually have two very in-depth videos on this kind of thing, which I'm gonna link below and at the end, but I'm going to pick out the really important parts. So if you want to climb quickly, if that's all you care about, pick a main champion or a few champions that you'll play over and over and become extremely comfortable with. Now these can either just be champions you are good with or they can be champions that are in my tier list and good right now. It really depends on you I guess and what you are good at like what kind of player you are. If you can pick up champions quickly then pick up the strongest ones right now but remember that they're often going to be banned or picked away from you anyway. If you pick something that isn't as popular but you just really enjoy and you're good with then you'll be much more likely to get it most games. Games. The thing you don't want to do is just play something because you think it is OP like that is the dumbest thing to do ever and it's the easiest way of stopping yourself from climbing. Now once you have decided on your champions write them down somewhere use the template that's in the description if you want to just make sure you have it next to you so you actually will stick to it. Another really good thing to do is write key things next to them like what you want to do early what you need to focus on what they are strong at this is going to help you be way more impactful in game. So as for a champion pool in general like what it should actually look like you should really have at least two to three champions in your main role two in your backup role or roles and one in the other roles just in case this is really the minimum i would suggest that you make sure you have so you don't automatically become useless when you don't get your main so we've been talking about the champion pools and like why you should main a champion, but what kind of champ should you be picking then? So there are four things I think you should really look for in a champion if you just want to climb really quickly. And that's that simple, the high damage, crowd control and escapes. So being simple is kind of self-explanatory, like you're less likely to make mistakes and it's easier to know your damage and what you can actually pull off. The high damage part is for two reasons. So people will get caught off guard a lot. And if you catch someone and you have a lot of damage, then you can kill them really quickly and punish them. The 
second thing is in team fights, if you have a ton of damage and you get that damage off, you can often swing the team fight into your favor. Crowd control links really nicely into this whole team fighting thing, and honestly, it just wins games. Like, it's that simple. Even if you are behind, you enter a team fight, you have a huge crowd control ultimate, like a Mumu, for example, and it can easily swing the game around. So, escapes is kind of a funny one to actually put in here. No offense to any of you guys, but sometimes you suck. Sometimes I suck. Like, nobody's perfect. You will get caught sometimes and put yourself in bad places. That's okay, it happens, and if you have an escape, you won't be punished for that, which is actually really good. So to give you an example of some of the champions that I actually think fit into this kind of idea, for the top lane, we have Darius, Gangplank, and Garen. For jungle, we have Elise, Vi, Zin Zhao, mid, Annie, Ari, and Lux. AD, we have Jinx, Sivir, and Graves. And for support, we have Blitz, Thresh, and Braum. Now, all of these won't necessarily have all four things that we're looking for, but they have at least a few of them, and they can carry games really well right now in season five. There are three more things I want to talk about, and these are all mindset related that you need to really go into the game with this mindset. First one, quality over quantity and take breaks. Like taking breaks is really important. And if you spam games over and over, you will lose concentration and you're going to play worse. My advice is play a few games, take a break, go bash one out, play a different game, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to judge. Just make sure that you are fresh for each game. You also need to make sure that you drink a lot while you play. This is different for everybody, but in general, drinking is going to help you keep your concentration. The second thing is don't give in to your frustration. And the first thing is you have to realize that being frustrated is not weird. Like 99% of us do get frustrated at League at some point or another. You need to just realize that most people will have roughly a 55% win rate. So you are going to be losing a lot of games. Every game is a fresh start. New teammates, new games. You can have bad games and that doesn't make you a bad player. It doesn't mean that you need to beat yourself up and start saying that you suck. You honestly don't suck, you are good players and you can win so you just have to get into the game and prove it. The biggest mindset thing is really just to not worry if you fall behind. Like you are good, the enemy team is probably pretty bad, you can outplay them and they are going to throw. That is the mindset you really want to have and I just did a video on this which a lot of you probably watched so I'm not going to go back over it right now but I'll link it below if you want to watch it again. Really simply to put it in a nutshell, remember all those games where you were ahead and then suddenly your team did something really dumb and you lost well yup that happens on the enemy team too so just keep playing never give up and wait for them to do something stupid so that wraps up this video and i hope you guys enjoyed it and this is going to help you in your climb to your next border for the end of the season let me know what you guys think talk about it in the comments like and subscribe if you liked it and i'll catch you in my next video